name is Candace Monroe. I'm 22 years old and I'm actually um, a grad student at the University of Akron. Um, I ha got a heart transplant about seven years, almost seven years. Um, I was 15 when it happened. I was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy. So um, I waited in the hospital for two and a half weeks, which is awesome. I was put at the very top of the, the list because I was very sick. I went from probably 115 pounds to like 90 pounds in a week. Like it was, it was really bad, really sick. Um, and then, so I waited two and, or two and a half weeks, and on February 7th, 2002, I got my heart transplant. And I, I like to say it's my Valentine's gift because it's exactly a week uh, before Valentine's Day. Organ donation is really important. I, I think people really feel they have all these myths and misconceptions about organ donation that, and they really haven't looked into it. People are probably more likely to need an organ donation or um, more than they are um, going to have to donate their organs. You don't know how important it is until it affects their lives. Just think of that you could possibly save someone's life. You could be that hero to that family. I know I've never met my the family um, where the organ came from, but I mean, one day I, I know I would really love to just say thank you. I know my parents wrote a letter right after, but it's, it's taken me some time. Um, because I don't know what to say. I mean, a thank you, of course, but I mean, it's more than thank you. It's, it's this. I I have a an eternal bond to that family. I I mean, they lost someone, but they chose to help someone else and give them, you know, another chance of life. And I'm very thankful for that family. I think people should really research before they you know make the decision because if they research they'll find out so much about organ donation and how it changes lives. I know from my perspective um, being an organ recipient like I said it has changed my life but when I look at other people one of my best friends that I met in the hospital she just got married in January and she, you know she wouldn't have that would have never happened if she, you know she didn't get that second chance of life. Or my sister, who had an organ donation, she just had a daughter. Um, well, it's going to be two years, and she, my niece is running around perfectly healthy. So I mean, she wouldn't be here if if my sister didn't get that organ donation. And people need to research and see how it changes lives, and how that maybe one day they they can help, or one of their family members can help. Because you you never know what happens.